Welcome to the Sports Simulation Spectator. My name is Mike, and this is Game 11 of the 2001 Toronto Jays replay with season ticket baseball supplemented by Digital Diamond Baseball version 11. My name is Mike, and I've been playing a replay here with season ticket baseball by Clay Dreslow. Uh, and I am attempting to play through a Toronto Blue Jays season. The Jays are not my team. It was randomly selected. Uh, and we're using Digital Diamond Baseball as a means to uh, keep track of all the stats and all that that good fun stuff, because I'm not going to keep that all by hand. Um, so we are here in Game 11 on April 13th, 2001. The Kansas City Royals are in town in Toronto. The 4-6 and six Kansas City, I'm sorry, 4-5 and five Kansas City Royals or against the four and six Toronto Blue Jays. Let's go down here to our table top and take a look at our starting lineup. The pitching matchup today is Esteban Loiza versus Brian Meadows. Going here into the top of the first inning, the starting lineup for the Kansas City Royals at shortstop is Ray Sanchez. At second base, Luis Alisea. Batting third and playing center field, Carlos Beltran. Batting fourth at first base is Mike Sweeney. Fifth and DHing today, Raul Ibanez. Batting sixth and playing right field is Jermaine Dye. Batting seventh, uh, playing the third base is Joe Randa. In left field, batting eighth is D. Brown. And batting ninth and catching is catcher Hector Ortiz. Your starting lineup again is Sanchez, Alisea, Beltran, Mike Sweeney, Ibanez, Dai, Randa, Brown, and Ortiz. Starting pitcher today for the Toronto Blue Jays is 30-year-old Esteban Loiza. This is his third start of the season. He's 1-1 one one with a 307 ERA. Uh, eight strikeouts in 14 and two-thirds innings. So he's been efficient, if nothing else. Uh, for the Jays. I am going to uh, beg for patience, as I usually do, as I struggled sometimes to get the key commands correct for putting information into uh, Digital Diamond Baseball. So uh, just be patient with me as I end up pulling those commands and, and getting all that stuff right. So I'm actually going to go pull my rare chart right now, which I did not do. And we're going to bring the rare chart up because I always forget. Here's our rule book. And rare plays. And then we're also going to bring up the commands. There we go. We got it. Let's play us some baseball. Batting first. Shortstop, Mr. Ray Sanchez. On the season, he is batting 10 for 25 for a 400 batting average. And the pitch, 5-0-9. And that immediately goes, 5-0-9 immediately goes to a rare play. Eh. 5-0-9 goes to a rare play, so it's a good thing I brought that chart up. 509. We're looking to page 30 to 33. All right, let's roll again. That is a, my, my dice tower is not cooperating well, so I'll just tell you what it says. It says 456. 456. That is a single to right field. If the white die is higher than the right fielder's fielding, Who's our right fielder today? It is Mondesi. Mondesi. Right fielder's fielding is seven. The white die is a five. It is not. So we're looking at 456. 456 right here. The batter advances the second on an error. But thankfully, there is no error. So we're looking at just a single To F9. And there's one aboard already. 
for Luis Alisea. On the season, he's batting 7 for 20. In real life, he hit 274, 323, 67. That is a 257. 257 versus a switch hitter. That is an F9. And Luis Alisea flies out to Mondesi for the first out. Beltron steps into the box. It wouldn't be a stream by me if I didn't lose a die. That is a 537. 537. We're looking at our first baseman. 537. That is a single through to right field. And Carlos Beltran continues the pressure here on Loiza early in the game. He's in a jam. Sanchez is at second. Up to bat Mike Sweeney. That's a 1-2-7. Hits the ball out to right field. Shin and Stewart glides over and squeezes. That's two down. And Raul Ibanez strides to the plate. Five for 21 to start this year. That's a 4 6 1. 4 6 1. Ground ball. 4 6 for the putout. And Beltron is the four out at second base. And the Jays get out of the first. No runs, two hits, two runners left. And we're heading to the bottom of the first inning. Your starting lineup for the Toronto Blue Jays. Starting at second base today is Ryan Friel. Batting second in right field is Raul Mondesi. Third at first base is Carlos Delgado. Shannon Stewart in left field bats fourth. Fifth is Jose Cruz in center field. Brad Fulmer DHing at sixth. Uh, batting seventh is Tony Batista at third base. Alex Gonzalez at shortstop and catching and batting ninth is Darren Fletcher. Your starting lineup is Friel, Mondesi, Delgado, Stewart, Cruz, Fulmer, Batista, Gonzalez, and Fletcher. They'll be facing off against right-handed pitcher Brian Meadows. This is his second start of the season, and after his first start, he's looking to right that ship again. Five innings, two strikeouts, two walks, but seven earned runs for 12.6 ERA. So Brian Meadows is looking to have a better outing today than he did in his first start of the year. And here's Friel. He's entering the game hitting 286. That's a 409. 409 versus a righty. And Friel swings and misses. And the game starts with a strikeout for Meadows. One down. Coming to the box is Mondesi. Four five one. Ground ball six three throws across the diamond, and Mondesi is down for two outs. And here comes Carlos Delgado coming into the game batting two thirty one with a home run and four RBI, four seven four. And that is a little tight on the inside, and now Delgado takes a pitch on the elbow. And he's going to shake out his arm and head down to first base and take a lead from there. Battering sec er, coming up to plate is Shannon Stewart coming into the season, batting 325 with three home runs. And he's got no, I'm sorry, three RBIs. He has no home runs on this season. That is a 498. 498 versus a righty. That ball, we never checked for weather. That's okay. We're going to say the roof is closed. It's still April. It's still cold. Even if it is a day game, I highly doubt anything would end up changing. So that ball is too deep. What, what did I say? I lost it. Shannon Stewart, 498. That ball is the deep left field. Here we go. We're rolling. Nope, I rolled the wrong die. It's the white one. So we need the blue and the white. That is a seven on Shannon Stewart's power of four. That puts us at 11. That ball is deep, 
but it's only a double hits off the top of the wall and ricochets away. Brown grabs it and throws it in, but that puts runners on second and third with two down for Jose Cruz. Jose Cruz is batting 154 with two home runs and nine RBIs here on the season. He has not been hitting in the clutch at all, given that he's already got nine strikeouts. That is a 3-5-4. 3-5-4. And guess what? There's another swing and a miss with runners in scoring position. And Jose Cruz goes down. And that is no runs, one hit, two runners left. And we're headed to the second. Nothing, nothing. Coming to the plate is Jermaine Die. The pitch from Louisa. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. That ball is hit out to right field. And Mondesi looks up into the sun, puts it away. One down. Joe Randa comes in today, batting 225 with a home run and two RBIs. One down here in the first. And the pitch, 477. 477 versus a righty. That ball is hit out to center field. Jose Cruz retreats back towards the fence and puts it away. And two down for Loiza and the Toronto Blue Jays. Up to bat is D Brown. 4-3-0. Ball's hit on the ground. Four, three, down. D. Brown grounds into an out across the diamond. From second to first. No runs, no hits, and nobody left. One and a half is in the books, and it's KC zero, Toronto zero. Up to bat next against Mr. Meadows is Brad Fulmer. And the pitch. Two, two, eight. Becomes a five, nine, eight. 598, which is right field, so we're looking at die. 598, that ball is a single plus. With it being Brad Fulmer, he is not going to try to advance. And Brad Fulmer gets on base. Fulmer's on first. Tony Batista coming up. Four eight seven. Four eight seven by a right field pitcher. That ball is hit out to center field. It's pretty deep. Beltran retreats. And he's able to grab it. What's the plus plus do? Oh no, see? Oh, Fulmer was on first. Yeah. Okay. No, that's right. And one gone. Fulmer's stretching off the lead at first. And up to bat here is Alex Gonzalez. 2-2-8. Two, two, that ball is hit on the ground. Ali Sayer ranges to his right. That is a 4-6-3 double play. And Brian Meadows gets out of the inning. No runs, one hit, and nobody left on base. After two, it's nothing, nothing. Hector Ortiz coming up. His first at bat of the game. It's a 5 3 0. That's we're checking our first baseman here. 5 3 0. That is a three unassisted. Carlos Delgado scoops it. Runs. The, oh, boy. that do it? Yep, there we go. Delgado runs over the bag, steps on it, and Hortiz is down. Up to bat, 34-year-old Ray Sanchez. Oh, for, well, he's one for one today. That is a 5-2-4. So we're looking at the catcher. 5-2-4. That is an F2. Can't. That's a pop-up. I guess it probably wants P2 in this case. Yep. Ray Sanchez hits it straight up the elevator shaft. Fletcher calls everyone off, steps under it, 
and puts it away for two down. And now digging in, Luis Alisea. 1-8-3. That's a bloop single out to center field. And Alisea on base. Carlos Beltran looking to do a little bit more damage. 3-7-1. 3-7-1. This is ground ball to... Uh, F4, that work. It's an infield single. Everyone, everyone makes it. Everyone's safe. Beltran on first. Ali Saya on second. And Mike Sweeney's up. Wise is back in a jam. But Sweeney's over one on the day. And the pitch. Six, eight, seven. Six, eight, seven. And that is a double for Sweeney, wrapped off the wall. And the Jays are going to find themselves in a deficit again. Ali Saya scores. Beltran to third. And standing on second, clapping, is Mike Sweeney, the first baseman. Coming up is Raul Abanez. So far today, he's 0 for 1, 2 away. And the pitch, 3-9-4. And that ball is high and far, and that is a three-run home run for Raul Abanez. That's the first one of those that I feel like I've seen where they just hit a home run. <laughs> it like Maybe I guess I've got a couple of those guys, but it doesn't feel like it happens very often. And all of a sudden, Esteban Loaiza has put up a four spot, and now Jermaine Dye is coming to the plate. Looking to do some more two out damage. That's a three eight nine. Three eight nine. That is a ground out of uh, six to three. And that's the end of the inning. Four runs, four hits, and nobody left. And after two and a half, it's KC four, Toronto nothing. Darren Fletcher at bat. That's a five, five, six. Look at a third base, Joe Randa. Five, five, six. And that is a single out in the left field. D Brown scoops it and tosses it back in. And Ryan Friel is up to bat. Oh, for one of the day with Fletcher on first. And the pitch. Move it, die. There we go. Five, oh, oh. 5 0 0. That is a rare play. 5 0 0. We got a guy on first. Does anything change? Runner on first. 5 0 0. Page 34. Yeah, runner on first with no outs. Page 34. 2 3 3 34. All right, here we go. Five, six, five. Weakly hit in front of the catcher who throws the shortstop to force out runner one. Shortstop may complete the double play by successfully challenging the batter's speed. So Ryan Friel has a five, the shortstop of Sanchez has an arm of five. So we're looking at runner is safe if his speed, in this case it's Friel's five, is all of these. Five, 10, 19, 22 is better than 10 and arm which is 15. So in this case, he is safe. So we're looking at a ground. Oh, I lost my page. We're looking at a G26. There is no double play. 
And Fletcher's forced out. Ryan Friel is on first with one down. Here comes Mondesi, who has been putrid. That's the nice word we're going to use. At least he's got two stolen bases. Let's go, Mondesi. What do you got? Two, six, eight. Two, six, eight versus, nope, yeah, versus a righty. That ball is the deep left field. Mondesi with a seven plus eight plus one, 16. That ball is high and far and gone. Home run to left field. Raul Mondesi. Friel scores from first, and the Blue Jays are on the board. Four to two, Kansas City. Coming up is Carlos Delgado, who's one, who's 0 for 0 today. He was hit by a pitch. One gone, and I missed the blue die. That is 289. 289. That ball is hit to deep right field. That is Delgado's eight plus three, which is 11. And that ball is high off the wall and Delgado stands up at second base for the double. And the Blue Jays are knocking. Shin Stewart at the plate. 4-0-5. 4-0-5 versus a righty. And Shannon Stewart swings and misses. And I'm sure that there's something I'm supposed to be doing regarding like fielding depth. Bring the infield in. Well, there's nobody on third, so you wouldn't bring him in. Yeah, no, we're okay at the moment. I'm not too worried about that. That's the part that's confusing here. Not confusing, but just trying to make the de- uh, excuse me, trying to make the decision for two teams. Jose Cruz, who's also been putrid. Let's call him putrid. 386. 386. And that is an infield single. So we're going to go with G oh, 6 uh soft Round ball. Nope. Let's go back. We got to undo that. Undo. So it's a, let's do this again. Single. Uh, to soft ground ball to uh, fielder six. And probably what would happen is that it would have gone to Alisea in order for Delgado to move to third. It doesn't say anything about Delgado not moving. So that's what we're going with. And so Jose Cruz is on base with Brad Fulmer. Let's go, Brad Fulmer. Two, one, four. Two, one, four. And that is a ground out. G6, three. Throws across the diamond. And that's the end of the inning. Sweeney is squeezes for the out. Two runs, four hits, and two runners left with three in the books. It's KC4, Toronto 2. Esteban Loiza pitches to Joe Randa, who's 0 for 1 on the day. 3 0 3. 3 through 0 3, and Randa swings through it and misses. That's a K for Loiza. D Brown is 0 for 1. One down here in the top of the fourth. 2 6 6. That ball is hit to deep right field. That is D Brown's four plus five, which is nine. And that is a single to D Brown to right field. 
did it not take? Single to F9, poof. There we go. D Browns held to a single. Hector Ortiz up to plate. Let's see, does D Brown steal it all? Not really. And Hector Ortiz up to bat. Working on a six seven nine. That is a single plus plus. And D Brown goes first to third. And all of a sudden, Lewise is in trouble again, sending out the pitching coach to have a conversation. In the last game, we did have to throw Ryan Friel out there as a uh, position player because we just ran out of pitchers. It wasn't good. Lewise is flirting with danger. Runners at first and third for Ray Sanchez. 5-4-5. Five, five. That is to our second baseman, Friel. Five, four, five. That is a single in the right field. But when there's parentheses after it, we have to chat. They get the opportunity to challenge. So an outfield position is shown. The lead runner may challenge the arm. So that's what we're going to see. Let's see who's on first on first is. Ortiz, no, he's not going to push it. He's a catcher. We're just going to let him go station to station. And Loiza, he might be done for this game. It's not great. All right, Loiza, we're still going to ask you to pitch here to whoever's up, Luis Alisea, because Sanchez is on first. The pitch from the wise to Alisea. I can't see this one. 3-1-5. 3-1-5, and he's able to get Alisea looking. That's two down. With Carlos Beltran and his big bat up. That is a 4-1-7. 4-1-7, that is a single. Plus. And scoring from second is Ortiz. Sanchez goes over to second. And the Jays have put two, or I'm sorry, the Royals have put two more on the board. Let's take a look at our bullpen and see how rested it is. It was a mess, a mess, mess, mess. The last time that we ended up using anybody. We got Frascatori in the middle. We got... Hamilton, Carpenter, Loiza, Paris, Mahalik. That's my pitching. Why do I have so many, like, <laughs> why do I have so many set of guys? Blue Jays? We're going to go with Kelvin Escobar is going to come in the game. Is that what's going to happen? Yeah. Escobar is coming in. Loise is coming out. Wrong team. And that is the end of the day for Loise. Responsible for the two men on base. But we're just not going to ask him to face Mike Sweeney. Coming in today is es er, Escobar. This is his fifth game of the season. He is 1-0 with a 0 ERA. Uh, coming in for bullpen, he's got 8 Ks in 7 innings. And it is Escobar versus Mike Sweeney. 24-year-old pitches. 4-2-9. That is to the catcher. No, 4-2-9 is on this card. 4-2-9. And that is a ground out 5-4. And Escobar is able to put out the fire. But not before Loiza lets two more cross the plate in the fourth. And it is 6-2 to two to Kansas City. 
Coming up to bat this inning, Batista, Gonzalez, and Fletcher. Batista steps into the box. He's 0 for 1 with nobody out. We're looking at a 1, 2, 6. And that ball is hit hard at the left field, but directly at Brown. He puts it away for first out. Alex Gonzalez, 1, 8, 9. And that ball is a bloop single out to outfield. Alex Gonzalez is able to get himself on base. And Gonzalez is going to try to take a lead. That's what we're going to look at here. Alex Gonzalez has a speed of four. No, a steal of three. So we're going to check that. We're going to try to get him a lead. Steal of three plus 12. That's 15 which is equal to 10 plus the hold, 12, sweet. So, um, yeah, Alex Gonzalez is taking a lead and he's gonna try to steal. So he's looking at a speed of four plus everything. Four plus one plus one is six plus five is 11. And then it is catcher's arm. In this case, it's Hector Ortiz. His arm is a five. And he gets thrown out. So we're looking at stolen base. Runner on first is out. Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Look at me learning those commands. Darren Fletcher up to bat now with nobody on base. Can't see that die. It is a 6-0-4. And that is nothing but a big old strikeout. And Brian Meadows is doing exactly what he wanted to do. Kind of put down the Jays in close to order. Kavim Escobar continues to pitch. It is Escobar going to be against Ibanez, Die, and Randa. And here today is Ibanez. He's one for two with a home run, three RBIs, and a run scored. 4-8-2. Four, 4-8-2. Eight, two. Four, eight, two. And that is a single. And Ibanez is two for three on the day. And here comes Jermaine Die. Six nine eight. Jeez, six nine eight. We are looking at a six nine eight. Yep, that ball is hit to deep center field. Deep center field for Die. That is a 12 plus his six. That is an 18. And that ball is high and far and gone. Jermaine Dye crushes a home run over the center field wall. And things have gone from bad to worse for the Blue Jays. They now find themselves down eight to two. What is going on? I don't understand. Joe Randa. Up to bat. He's over two. Five, six, eight. We're looking at five, six, eight. This is a shortstop. Today that's Alex Gonzalez. Five, six, eight. Guess what? That is a single in the left field. Where is the range on my infielders? What is happening? Came through as an infield hit, but you know what? I'm not worried about that part. Joe Rand is on first. That's where he should be. D. Brown is up to bat. 627. 627. That is an F6, or in this case, a P6. Ball's popped up. And the shortstop puts it away. And two down. Or is it just one down with Joe Randa? Is it one? Hector Ortiz up to bat. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. And that is a big swing and a miss. That's a K for Hector Ortiz. And here comes Ray Sanchez. 1-5-4. He's two for three today. The 1-5-4. A fly ball out to left field. 
and it's put away. Shannon Stewart gets the put out. And that is two runs, three hits, and one man left on base for Kansas City. And after four and a half, it's KC eight, Toronto two. Brian Meadows pitching to Friel, Mondesi, and Delgado. And here's Friel. He's 0 for 2. That's a 3 0 7. 3 0 7. Swing and a miss. And Friel puts himself away. That is five strikeouts today for Meadows. Mondesi up. He's 1 for 2 with a home run back in the third inning. That is a 1 3 0. And that ball is hit out to left field, and Dee Brown ranges over and puts it away. Two down. And up is Carlos Delgado. He's one for one today with a hit by pitch and a double. That's a 1 3 9. And that ball is also hit out to Shannon Stewart, who doesn't have to do as much work this time. Fly ball out to seven. And Dee Brown puts it away, and they are done. No runs, no hits, and nobody left on base in Toronto. It is five in the books. KC eight, Toronto two. All right. <laughs> this is probably going to be Escobar's last inning. We're going to try to stretch him a little bit here. He's at 22 innings right now, and he's facing against Alisea, Beltran, and Sweeney. Alisea, that is a one, one, three. Becomes a 3-1-3, and that's a swing and a miss. Alisea strikes out for the second time in a row. And Carlos Beltran with the pitch. 5-7-2. That is a left field check. 5-7-2. Shannon Stewart gets that and puts that away. Two down. And here is Mike Sweeney. One two seven becomes a three two seven. That ball is hit out to right field. No one on base. Mondesi puts it away, and that's a one two three inning after five and a half. KC eight Toronto two. Brian Meadows is currently sitting at sixty seven pitches, uh, and Shannon Stewart's up one for two today with a double. One zero eight. And that is a pitcher, 1-3, directly back to Meadows, who fields his position well, tosses it over, and Shannon Stewart is down. One out for Jose Cruz with a 3-0-9. Guess what? Jose Cruz, used to seeing this now. That's a big swing and a miss for Brad Fulmer. Two down. That's a 3-4-2. The 3-4-2 hits out to right field, and Jermaine Dr Dye drifts over and squeezes the ball for an out. And they have been put away in order again. Escobar is coming out of the game now. So we got Ibanez, Dye, Randa. Hmm. <laughs> so Frascatori's tired. Escobar's tired. Quantrill, I really don't want to pitch with him if I can avoid it. Plesak's not great either. So we're going to look at Bob File. He's who we're going to be bringing in. He looks like a new pitcher for us. He must have been promoted at some point. So Bob File is coming into the game as our new pitcher. Bob File. This is his first game of the season, so he's got no stats. Facing Raul Ibanez. 5-9-6. Means we're looking at our right fielder. 
Five, nine, six. That is a double right off the bat, and File gets greeted very rudely. By Raul. And entering the game today, Dai was hitting 292 with a home run and five RBIs, and he's already added to that total today. Bob File with the stretch in the pitch. Five, six, six. My day, me. Looking at our shortstop now, five, six, six. Five, six, six is a six, three put out. Yeah, on that put out, runners advance. All right, here comes Joe Randa. And the pitch, 119. Becomes a, no, 119 is a 4 3. And that is some good small ball by the Royals. Ibanez comes around to score. There's two down for D Brown. Three zero four, and D Brown swings and misses, and that's all. One run, one hit, and no one left on base. After six and a half, KC nine, Toronto two. You got Tony Batista up the bat. Four eight seven. Four eight seven versus a righty is hit out to center field, and Carlos Beltran drifts back to the track and puts it away for one out. Alex Gonzalez coming to the plate. Five eight five looking at center field. Five eight five. Is a fly out to Beltron. And here comes Darren Fletcher with his 212 batting average. 599. 599. We're looking at our right fielder today is Jermaine Dye. 599. That ball is a single, and Darren Fletcher gets on base. Oh boy, howdy. Darren Fletcher is 2 for 3 today, and Ryan Friel is 0 for 3. 375. 375, that is a 6 4 put away. Fletcher is forced out at second. And that's the end. Top of the eighth. Here we go. We're going to keep file in a little bit more. Mm. Yeah, we're going to keep filing a little bit more because if I need to, I can go to PLESAC. I've got PLESAC and I can abuse Frascatory. All right. Bob File pitching to Hector Ortiz. 5 6 1. To our shortstop. 5 6 1 is a 6 3 ground out. One down. Here comes Ray Sanchez to the plate. He's two for four today with an RBI. That's a 6-3-6. Six, six. And that ball hits out the center field. Just enough for Cruz to glide under. And he's put away. And up to bat is Luis Alicea. One for four today with two strikeouts. One, five, one. That ball is hit out to, uh, to left field, and Shannon Stewart looks right at it and puts it away. And we are headed to the bottom of the eighth with Brian Meadows coming out of the game. Meadows was 
pr- actually pretty good today. He ended up going uh, seven innings, two runs, eight hits, six Ks, uh, 92 pitches. So the Royals' new pitcher. Who are we going to put in for the Royals? Let's see. I'm not using any setup, guys. If we can avoid it, we're going to use a middle guy of Doug Henry. Sounds sounds about right. Doug Henry's coming in the game. Thirty-seven-year-old Doug Henry coming up, facing Mondesi, Delgado, and Stewart. The pitch, one one zero comes a 3-1-0 and Montesi swings and misses at the heat from Henry. One down. Carlos Delgado with the pitch. 6-9-2. This is the home team, so it's 6-9-7. And that's a walk. And Delgado gets on base for the third time today. Shannon Stewart at bat. Pitch from Henry. Four six seven. Four six seven. That is a fly ball to center field. Beltran easily puts it away. And here comes Jose Cruz Jr. to strike out again. It is a one two six. Becomes a three two six. And guess what? That is the third strikeout of the day here for Jose Cruz. And the Blue Jays go down. No runs, no hits, and one man left on base. Bob File is done for the day. After throwing 25 pitches. And we're going to bring in Dan Plesak. Because he's a little tired. But he's only got, he's only sitting on the one pitch there. So Plesak is coming in. To hold everyone off. It's Plesak versus Beltran, Sweeney, and Abanez. The pitch from Plesak. 6-3-9. That becomes an F-8. Fly ball to center. One down. Mike Sweeney at bat. It's a 1-0-0. Becomes a 3-0-0. And Plesak gets Sweeney to swing and miss. Two down. And it's Raul Ibanez. One, two, six. And Dan Plesak swing and a miss. And Plesak goes him to go one, two, three with two strikeouts. Nice appearance for Plesak. Here we are in the bottom of the ninth inning. Down seven. We got Brad Fulmer at the plate. Um, I think the Royals are not going to abuse Doug Henry that bad. And they're going to bring in Jose Santiago. Doug Henry threw 15 pitches. It was not a super easy inning. So in comes Jose Santiago. This is Santiago's fourth game of the season. A zero ERA with 3.2 innings pitched. And the pitch from Santiago to Fulmer. 6-4-1. Add five. Becomes a 6-4-6. Not much better. We're looking at a ground out. 4-3. And up comes Tony Batista. Six one uh, six four one. Guess what? We're looking at six four six again, and that is another ground out. Same thing. And our last hope, Alex Gonzalez. Six two zero becomes a six two five, and that is a pop out to the first baseman. Mike Sweeney glides under it. 
and puts it away. And this one belongs to Kansas City. The final score, Kansas City 9, Toronto 2. Ha. Well. Let us go take a look at this box score. Less than ideal, if I would say so myself. Here is our box score. Your player of the game is Raul Banyas. The actual box score says your winning pitcher is Brian Meadows. Seven innings, eight hits, two earned runs, and six strikeouts, no walks. Your losing pitcher is Esteban Loiza. Three and two thirds innings, ten hits. Six earned runs, two Ks, and a home run given up. Uh, player of the game is Raul Banyez, played at the Rogers Center. Uh, we've got home runs from Mondesi, Ibanez, and Jermaine Dye. And that's about it. Anything interesting happened this day? Oh, there we go. I was going to say there's no, there's no interesting thing thoughts. Arizona left 14 runners on base. And San Diego had four errors. The Pittsburgh Pirates put up a 19 spot on the Cubs. Take a look at that. Look at that. Jason Kendall, four for seven. Aramis Ramirez had two home runs. Very cool. All right, well, that is another day where we have lost a whole lot. Here's our standings. Toronto sitting in fourth place, four and a half games out, and it is only March 11th. The Boston Red Sox are eight and two. So that has been the game for this week. Our next two games, I believe. Let's see, we can bring up. Can I easily get to my schedule? I think this is a three game series. Yeah, let's go here. There we go to team reports and schedule. Uh, yes, it is a three game series. And then the New York Yankees come in for three before we head out to Kansas City. So thanks everyone for joining me. This has been the Sports Simulation Spectator. Uh, please like and subscribe and check out all the other feeds and playlists we got. We got Red, White, and Blue Racing from Play Games, a fantastic stock car racing game uh, where I'm running a fictional world of friends, family, and the Play Online Facebook forum people. Uh, we've got History Maker Golf that's on a bit of a hiatus at the moment, but in, in place there, we've added some Let's Play Tennis uh, and I'm sure, and we're bringing back the Fast Drive Football by Al Wilson. So. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for checking this out. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to put them below. Thanks, and I'll see you.